Hi, I'm Jennifer Chen. I'm going to tell you about cooling cows efficiently with water spray, behavioral, physiological, and production responses to sprinklers at the feed bunk, which we published in the Journal of Dairy Science. In warm weather, dairy cattle are susceptible to accumulating heat load. The cow in this photo is panting, which is a natural response cattle use to cope with heat load. However, high milk production is associated with considerable metabolic heat production. And in hot weather, dairy cows can experience animal welfare problems such as discomfort, elevated body temperature, and even mortality in extreme cases. Production problems can also result, including reduced milk yield and fertility, with an estimated economic impact of $1.5 billion per year in the U.S. A common and effective strategy for reducing heat load is to spray cows with water using sprinklers mounted above the feed bunk. The sprinklers are turned on intermittently and reduce heat load through evaporation and fluid convection. A sustainability concern about sprinklers is that they use potable water, an increasingly scarce resource. However, little experimental work has been done to determine how much water is needed for cooling cows in this manner. In addition, we had questions about how cattle respond behaviorally to sprinklers. In loose housing systems, cows are not restrained, so they can choose to avoid standing under sprinklers, like the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. This avoidance could result in poor heat abatement and wasted water. A sprinkler attribute that affects behavior and cooling is water flow rate. In previous experiments, we conducted brief tests lasting from a few minutes to an hour. In one study, we found that very low flow rates do not cool cows as effectively as higher flow rates, but there are diminishing returns to using more and more water. Higher flow rates also generate greater spray impact, and in another study, we found that cows avoided exposing their heads to high impact spray. The objective of the current study was to evaluate how flow rate affects cattle behavioral, physiological, and production responses to sprinklers in loose housing. We housed nine pairs of high-producing lactating Holstein cows in separate pens with free stalls. We compared three treatments, a control with no spray, and two sprinklers, one with a high flow rate of 4.9 liters per minute, and one with a more moderate flow rate of 1.3 liters per minute. The sprinklers were mounted above the feed bunk, which was shaded, and the spray turned on and off intermittently 24 hours a day. Each pair of cows received one treatment at a time for two days and all pairs received all three treatments. We used 24-hour surveillance video to gather behavioral data, and we also recorded body temperature 24 hours a day with vaginally indwelling loggers. We found several interesting behavioral results when there were sprinklers, which indicated that cows avoided walking through spray and getting their heads wet. But because the spray turned on and off intermittently, the cows could use the sprinklers without necessarily walking through spray. This figure shows that when cows had only shade over the feed bunk, they spent on average five and a half hours per day in that area across weather conditions. But when there were sprinklers at the feed bunk, cows spent more time there in warmer weather, likely for the cooling benefits they received. The lower graph shows that when cows had only shade over the feed bunk, body temperature increased in warmer weather. Sprinklers kept body temperature from increasing as much in warmer weather. Also, across weather conditions, sprinklers kept body temperature lower from 1 to 8 p.m. daily compared to the control. Furthermore, sprinklers improved average daily milk yield relative to the control by more than 3 kilograms. There were no significant differences between the sprinkler flow rates for any of these cooling benefits. In conclusion, we found that of the sprinkler flow rates we tested, the lower one cooled cows more efficiently since it used less than a third of the water that the higher one did. It's also possible to manipulate water volume by adjusting how long and how frequently we turn on the spray. And we're looking into whether using higher sprinkler flow rates but applying the spray for a shorter amount of time would be another strategy for cooling cows efficiently with sprinklers.